Hey guys, back for part three. We just finally got in contact with Meryl, so now we gotta figure out where we gotta go next to rescue, I think, the doctor it is. Yeah, that was close. door for you. Thanks. Where are you? Where I can see ya. Don't move around too much. Don't worry. I'm disguised in this enemy uniform. You won't be for long with the way you walk. What does that mean? Uh, nothing. Listen, Snake. The cargo door is like an airlock. It's equipped with infrared sensors. Be careful. If an intruder is sensed, gas is released. Gas? Okay, so we'll meet at the nuclear warhead storage building. Wait, you said you'd stay put and be a good girl. I changed my mind. Don't get careless. That's when things always turn sour. Sorry, but this is the only way I can figure out whether or not I'm cut out to be a soldier. I gotta get my hands dirty. These guys are professionals. You're gonna get yourself killed. See you there. Snake's hilarious. Thought you were gonna be a good girl. <laughs> he's, he's just definitely not what I expected. Maybe this isn't the right way. Let's see if I can backtrack and figure out where the hell I'm supposed to be going. I hope I do not die. The um, there's a little gorg there for holding your breath, so maybe somewhere down the line we're gonna have to dive into some water again, by the looks of it. I feel like I'm definitely getting caught as soon as I come out of here. Oh well.
so glad I know how to do that now. Oh, I think... Oh, nice. Yep. Crap. Uh, am I supposed to go somewhere? What am I supposed to do? Someone tell me. Okay, I don't know if I did something wrong there. Let's check the codec. The cargo door is open already. If you exit there and go north, you'll get to the Warhead Storage Building where Dr. Emmerich is being held. I'll head there now and wait for you. Hurry after me, okay? Meryl contacted you, didn't she? Go through the cargo door in the north part of the hangar. Head for the Warhead Storage Building. In war, a split second can mean the difference between that inner Be careful, Snake. That airlock is set with infrared sensors. You probably can't see them with your naked eyes, but there are infrared beams coming out of that wall. Touch any one of them and the doors will seal off and the place will be flooded with poison gas. Somehow, you've got to get through without setting off those sensors. Okay, so there's infrared lights. Let's figure out... <laughs> How do I figure out... Maybe it's a little strip here. What? Okay, I'm... I officially have no idea what's going on anymore. <laughs> I don't know what I did different the last time. Snake, be careful. There are Claymore mines around there. Use a mine detector. Who are you? Just call me Deep Throat. Deep Throat? The informant from the Watergate scandal? Never mind about that. You're not using burst transmission. Are you nearby? Listen. There's a tank in front of your position, waiting to ambush you. Who are you, anyway? One of your pans. Can't take him seriously with a name like Deep Throat. Like, come on. So many more cooler names you could have used. Okay, we need to put this thing on. Wow. I'm hoping those are the mines. Not enemies. Yeah, I have a feeling I'm not going to like this. That's right, you belong on the ground. 
You should crawl on the ground like the snake you are. So, let's fight! Okay, I have no idea how I'm supposed to fight a tank. Actually, maybe it's something to do with these mines. Maybe I just got to. Wow! <laughs> I mean, I definitely should be dead. Oh, come on. I can't even peek to look at the tank, so I don't know. I'm, I'm, I'm going to assume I'm, I'm not supposed to shoot it, because I've just got a gun. I'm trying again to blow up these mines. That was not bright. That M1 tank is equipped with advanced Victronics. Once it locks onto a target, it automatically tracks it, and its main gun is effective up to 3,000 meters. To get close, you'll have to confuse its tracking system. Use your chaff. If you can jam the system and get close enough, it won't be able to use its main gun. Use your chaff at a long distance to fool its electronic systems. Gotta figure out if I I think I have to Oh that's not good. I think I have to get the driver and not the Oh wow he just ran me over.
Come on. Okay. I think I got this. I need a little bit of luck though. I've got no more jamming. I think I've just got a lot of the grenades. Oh, no. Just as you said, in battle, he is as if possessed by a demon, much like you. I would expect no less. See? I told you so, but I will kill him. So, General Ivan, I hear he took your hand as well as your dignity. Watch your tongue, shaman. In the language of the Sioux people, Sioux means snake. It is known as an animal to be feared. Snake is mine now. When I meet him next, I'll take special care of him. Not yet. Don't kill him yet. He and I will meet again in battle. Same prediction as always? Yes. The raven on my head. It thirsts for his blood. Yeah, that was a frustrating one for sure. I thought I could lure him back and he'd run over the mines, but he just seemed to be stuck in the middle. I didn't want to come down, I couldn't draw him in, but um, look, got there in the end, that's all that matters. How do I get through this door now? Oh, that makes sense. Be careful, you absolutely must not use weapons in that area. I've already programmed the nanomachine so that he won't be able to, Colonel. What? What are you talking about? Have you forgotten? That's where they keep the nuclear warheads. Can't you see them? Yeah, there's lots of boxes piled up here, but are they all warheads? Yes, they're all dismantled warheads. They just leave them here? It's like President Baker said, totally careless. They're working on a limited budget. They try to put on a pretty face for the media, but this is the grim reality of it. Nastasha knows lots more about it than I do. All of the warheads in those boxes have had their detonation mechanisms removed, so there's no fear of them exploding. But if the warheads are broken, they might leak plutonium, and that would be a serious problem. Snake, never use your weapon on that floor. That's crazy, they can just disable my weapons. Off there. Looks like I'm gonna have to try go stealthier. Um, I 
I love how they're giving me grenades, but I can't use them. Way to rub it in. Nice. Okay, I have no idea where I'm supposed to go. Basement 1, Basement 2, I mean, let's go with 2. A level three card now? Yes. Okay. Also, the floor is electrified. First, destroy the high voltage switch. It's the switchboard on the northwest wall. But how? I can't reach it. Use a remote controlled missile. A remote controlled missile? Where am I going to get one of those? Oh, I've got my. I can use my weapons again. A remote control missile. Am I missing something here? I mean, I can't walk on it, but I kind of want to walk on it just to confirm that theory I guess yeah I can't walk on it oh I didn't die mad I think maybe oh uh, hold up there's a way to knock on this Morse code I don't know, Morse code. Okay, maybe I gotta go to basement level one. That's the only thing I can think of. <laughs> Wait, is this Meryl? Oh, come on. How did I get alerted? Alright, take two. I really want to kill this guy in the toilet though. Who spotted me? Is there a camera? should definitely take some of these rations.
level 5 door. That must be the what I was looking for, those remote control missiles he was talking about. Can I use the computer? No. Control missile, press the weapon to find direction. Okay, so what I'm guessing is if I maybe use my scope here, is there something for me to shoot at? Not that I can see. He said, I think he said we had to destroy something that was northwest, so it should be over on this side. Okay, well, let's just give this thing a go. That is very cool. I wonder if I can move the missile. Yes, I can. the camera oh wow so do I have to okay I have to navigate this thing I see <laughs> this is actually pretty cool what am I trying to destroy here Oh. I wonder if I'm actually supposed to maybe take out those security turrets first. was a close one. Okay, so I think the gas is still around, so I don't think we could stop... Well, actually, maybe there's something we got to blow up on the opposite side. Actually, I could probably just leg this a bit, can't I?
like they were cut by some type of blade. Looks like we might run into the Terminator dude again. It's, it's a ghost. With all the code names in this game, there's definitely someone called Ghost. That's just a given. Yeah, I really don't want to fight that guy. He's got a red dot here, so this guy's alive. Can I do him? Can I help him? Give him some of my rations. I really hope these cigarettes actually come in handy at some point. See if they have their own purpose. Alright. I think I'm just going to have to, oh, wait a minute, how do I open a level 4 door? Alright, I'll take it. <laughs> Stealth camouflage? Who are you? Where is my friend? What? What are you talking about? Oh, what next? Snake. You're that ninja. I've been waiting for you, Snake. Who are you? Neither enemy nor friend. I am back from a world where such words are meaningless. I've removed all obstacles. Now you and I will battle to the death. What do you want? I've waited a long time for this day. Now I want to enjoy the moment. What's with these guys? It's like one of my Japanese animes. I've come from another world to do battle with you. What is it, revenge? It is nothing so trivial as revenge. A fight to the death with you. Only in that can my soul find respect. I will kill you, or you will kill me. It makes no difference. <laughs> ah, fine. He can watch from inside there. I need that man. Keep your hands off him. Now, Make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Alright, I am not looking forward to this battle. This dude can turn invisible, and he's got a samurai sword. Oh, and he's blocking my bullets with his sword. Come on. What weapon should I be using? Oh, maybe. Yeah, that didn't work out. <laughs> Alright, I have no idea what to do with this guy. I think mate, I think the C4 wasn't a bad idea. Oh, okay. You've gotta jam his systems. Now we can fight as warriors, hand to hand, 
It is the basis of all combat. Only a fool trusts his life to a weapon. Ah, I still got the sword. Okay. That's good, Snake. Hurry up and catch me. Oh, he's turned invisible. Ah. My worst nightmares are coming true. I'm here, Snake. Ah. You have to be kidding me. You have to be kidding me. Oh. The amount of concentration going into this right now. Ah. Are you real life? You have to be kidding me. I... I just... I'm, I'm so done. I'm so done. Now, make me feel it. Make me feel alive again. Thank <laughs> you. 
snake, the feel of battle, the clashing of bone and sinew. Zanzibar. Before I joined Foxhound's medical staff. They were using a soldier for their gene therapy experiments. I never heard that. It happened right after you retired. My predecessor, Dr. Clark, was in charge. Dr. Clark? Yes. He started the gene therapy project. And where is he now? He was killed in an explosion in his lab two years ago. So what about this soldier? Apparently, for their test subject, they decided to use the body of a soldier who was recovered after the fall of Zanzibar. And that was Grey Fox. But he was already dead. Yes. But they revived him. They fitted him with a prototype exoskeleton and kept him drugged for four years while they experimented on him like a plaything. Today's genome soldiers were born from those experiments. That's the sickest thing I ever heard. They used him to test all sorts of gene therapy techniques. Naomi, why didn't you tell us about this sooner? Because it's confidential information. Is that the only reason? Naomi, what happened to Grey Fox after that? The record says he died in the explosion. I see. But even if that ninja is Grey Fox, the question is, why? From what I could tell, he didn't know who he was. Are you saying that he's just a mindless robot? I'm not sure, but he seems intent on fighting me to the death. We'll meet again. I know it. So you'll fight again? Until you kill him? Huh. I'd rather not. But maybe that's what he wants. How long are you gonna stay in there? Huh? Are you one of them? No, I'm not. I always work alone. Alone? Are you an otaku too? Come on, get out. We can't stay here forever.
Your uniform is different than theirs. You're the Metal Gear Chief Engineer, Hal Emmerich, right? You know me? I heard about you from Merrill. Oh, so you're here to rescue me. Sorry, but no. There's something that I've got to do first. Oh, well, at least you're not one of them. Huh, are you hurt? Oh, I'm okay. I just twisted my ankle a little bit trying to get away. Well, if that's all, it's nothing to worry about. I want to ask you something. I need information about Metal Gear. Huh? Metal Gear? Yeah. What's Metal Gear really designed for? It's a mobile TMD. It's designed to shoot down nuclear missiles. Only for defensive purposes, of course. Fire! <laughs> I already know that Metal Gear is nothing but a nuclear-equipped walking deathmobile. Nuclear? What are you talking about? The terrorists are planning to use Metal Gear to launch a nuclear missile. You telling me you didn't know? They're gonna put a dismantled warhead into Metal Gear's TMD missile module? Wrong. From the beginning, the purpose of this exercise was to test Metal Gear's nuclear launch capability using a dummy nuclear warhead. The terrorists are just continuing the work you started. No, you're wrong. I heard it directly from your boss, Baker. No. A nuclear missile on Rex? So you really didn't know? No. All the armament was built by a separate department, and the president personally supervised the final assembly of the main unit. President Baker? Yeah. I was never told exactly what they armed Rex with. I, I only know it's equipped with a Vulcan cannon, a laser, and a railgun. A railgun, you said? Yeah. It uses magnets to fire bullets at extremely high velocities. The technology was originally developed for the SDI system and, and later scrapped. We were successful in miniaturizing it in a joint venture between Arms Tech and Rivermore National Labs. The railgun is on Rex's right arm. Metal Gear's main function is to launch nuclear missiles. You sure you're not forgetting something? It's true that Metal Gear has a missile module on his back that can carry up to eight missiles, but are you saying it was originally meant to carry nuclear missiles? Yeah, but that's not all I think. If Metal Gear fired only standard nuclear missiles, then they should already have all the practical data they need. No. Could it be? Metal Gear's co-developer, Rivermore National Labs, was working on a new type of nuclear weapon. They were using Nova and NIF laser nuclear fusion testing equipment and supercomputers. So they developed a new type of nuclear weapon in a VR testing lab, huh? Yes, but you can't use virtual data on a battlefield. They would need actual launch data. These are some of the supercomputers. If you link these, you can test everything in a virtual environment. But it's all just theoretical. So this exercise was designed to test the real thing. What did our president do? If the terrorists launched that thing... <sighs> Damn. S -s Damn. I'm such a fool. It's all my fault. The truth is, my grandfather was part of the Manhattan Project. He suffered with the guilt for the rest of his life. And my father, he was born on August 6th, 1945. The day of the Hiroshima bomb. God's got a sense of humor, all right. Three generations of Emmerich men. We must have the curse of nuclear weapons written into our DNA. I used to think that I could use science to help mankind. But the one that wound up getting used was me. Using science to help mankind? It's just in the movies. <laughs> That's enough crying. Pull yourself together. Where is Metal Gear? Where on this base are they keeping it? Rex is in the underground maintenance base. Where's that? 
North of the communications tower, but it's a long way there. The emergency override system for the detonation code is there too. Yeah, in the maintenance base control room. You'd better hurry. If they were planning a launch from the start, then their ballistic program is probably finished. And since they haven't called for me in a few hours, they must not need me. In other words, they must be ready to launch. Meryl's got the detonation code override keys. We'll link up with her. If we can't override the launch, we'll have to destroy Rex. I'll show you the way. On that leg of yours, you'll just slow me down. You'll need me if you're gonna destroy Rex. I don't need you. I just need your brain. I created Rex. It's my right, my duty to destroy him. If you get a chance, try to escape. When the coast is clear, I'll contact you by codec. How am I supposed to escape from an island? Uh, okay. So what then? I want you to hide somewhere and keep me informed. You know this place well, don't you? Of course I do. And don't worry, I've got this. It's the same stealth technology as the ninja. Foxhound was going to use them, but with this I'll be fine. Bad leg and all. Good. But I want Meryl to watch after you too. Meryl, the engineer's okay. That's a relief. I want you to look after him. Where are you now? Very close. There she is! Over there! <gasps> oh no! Damn, they've spotted me! <laughs> Meryl! What happened? Something's wrong. Did you hear something? Wasn't that some kind of music? What did she look like? She... she was wearing the same green uniform as the terrorists. A disguise? She had such a cute way of walking. She kind of wiggles her behind. You were really looking. Well, she's got a very cute behind. Way of walking, huh? If she's disguised as the enemy, you'll have to contact her when she's alone, huh? There's only one place where we can be sure she's by herself. Where's that? Don't be so dense. Here, use this security card. It's security level four. You're not in pain, are you? Huh? You feel okay? Nothing bothering you? What's wrong? Getting all friendly all of a sudden. No, nothing. I'm glad you're okay. You're strange. I'm a little nervous. Everyone else I've saved suddenly dies. You're bad luck. Forget it, Doctor. Call me Otacon. Otacon? It stands for Otaku Convention. And Otaku's a guy like me who likes Japanimation. Japan was the first country to successfully make bipedal robots. They're still the best in the field of robotics. And Japanese cartoons played some part in that? They did. I didn't get into science to make nuclear weapons, you know. That's what all scientists say. I became a scientist because I wanted to make robots like the ones in the Japanese animes. Really, it's true. It just sounds like a childish excuse to me. You're right. We have to take responsibility. Science has always thrived on war. Greatest weapons of mass destruction were created by scientists who wanted to be famous. But that's all over now. I won't take part in murder anymore. Whatever. All I want from you is information. Sure. I know everything about this whole base. Ask me anything about Rex or about this place. Also, with this stealth camouflage, I can sneak in and out of the armory and mess hall. If you need ammo or rations, just tell me and I'll bring them to you. I'm on frequency 141.12. See you later. All right, Kojima, you and your cutscenes, way too long, way too long. And that boss battle can go to hell because I knew from the second I saw that character, he was going to be a thorn in my ass, and he was. Oh, what a pain. I never want to do that again. And I know I have to probably fight him again. And 
it's it's giving me PTSD already. So I'm I'm calling it there. <laughs> That's part three. Um, yeah, look, that was one hell of a session, and I'll see you for part four, possibly. <laughs>